We can't like split don't we? Yeah. <laughs> it's not personal as well. <laughs> please do, please do. And I'll see you, I'll see you just post it on the video on YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, right, yeah. JC Audit. JC? Audit. Is it space? Space. Audit. No, I may have heard of that. I put out my Lord as JC Audit. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's, 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 it's,
Well, I'm not too into the last two because I was hiding behind the lamppost because you dragged me up, so I wasn't yeah. actually planning to get up here, so it's not something that I've done. I've got to get on that stage and speak to Danny. It was more like I've got to hide away from Danny and find a burger. But now that the burgers are around, I mean, what, what's the point? I might as well just get up here and talk and no burgers. So. Yeah, uh, it, it's something that I do because I'm passionate about it. I never even stepped up the chest till I was 27. I had no interest in God, no interest in shit. I was interested in drink and all the rest of it, the usual stuff that every, every day person's involved in and, uh, and a whole lot more on top of that that I won't go into because we haven't got long enough. Uh, and it was when it sort of started going to church, what has happened is that you, you know, obviously, um, me and my wife Liz, uh, we're just living our happy little life with our two kids, you being one of them. Uh, everything was going along fine, and then Liz's mum died. Your, your mum's mum died, your grandma, yes. all of a sudden yes. just yes. dropped yes. dead in front of her. And that, that caused her to start thinking, what will happen if I die? It I is the life after death. And, uh, and she panicked about it, and she kept asking me, what will happen if I die? What if it's my turn to die tomorrow? Will I go to heaven or will I go to hell? And I was like, ah, oh, you're all right, you're a good girl, you'll, you'll be fine, you'll go to heaven. And that's all I knew. And she kept asking yeah, and asking, and then eventually I got some leaflets uh, about Christianity, started reading about it, and because I've always been open-minded and I wasn't sort of, nah, there is no God, I was like, eh, there might be a God, it just, it just, I don't particularly need any interest in them at the minute, but because I needed to know about life after death, I started reading stuff, and it wasn't that we went to a church, it was that we got a Bible, we started reading stuff, we had an open mind, we wanted to know, is there life after death? Is, is there a God? And that led us on a path of start to discover whether there is a God or not. It led us into a church eventually. And then what happens then? So obviously you, you went into this church, you start to find out about God, and then obviously there was some sort of moment where you realised there was a need of it, and then did you have to, like what happens, is there a, is there a ceremony, did you have to give money to someone, like, like what happens in that situation? No, that's, that's, that's the problem, that, that was the problem, I actually thought to, to get right with God, you'd have to go to a ceremony, you'd have to be doing some religious, you'd have to go on pilgrimage, you'd have to give some money, you'd have to be baptised as a baby or something, I thought that that's how you pleased God, by doing religious things. And I thought, well, I've been Christmas as a baby, and I do religious things in my life now and again, so so that's all right, I'm fine. But I realised once I heard the Bible being preached, that the Bible tells us quite clearly that, that there is none that are righteous, that are none that does good, that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And I'm like, when it says all have sinned, that includes me. I thought, I'm a good person, so I didn't even include me. But the Bible saying all have, and the Bible says, Jesus himself says, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And I was absolutely shocked at that, because I didn't even have a clue what it meant. Yeah, there was mean, a fella called wanna, Nicodemus, he was a religious fella, uh, and, and again, he was a person who was trusting in his religion, you know trusting in his niceness and his goodness, and he was religious, and he was nice, and he was good, but the trouble was, nobody's good enough to get into heaven, and Nicodemus comes to Jesus thinking, I'm a good fella, we'll have a little chat, you're a religious guy, you'll get on well here, and immediately Jesus just cut to the chase, and says to him, verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So I knew I'd been born, but the Bible told me that I was born a sinner, that I was actually conceived in sin, shaping in iniquity, and I come forth from my mother's womb, separated and estranged from God. 
and there's this great yeah. gulf fix that no yeah, man can stand. Right. Yeah. So I knew I was in big, big trouble, because that's what the Bible was telling me. I also knew that Jesus said, you must be born again. So I'd been born, I'd been born sinful, I'd been born in a natural way, like everybody else had. But I was a sinner in need of being born again, and I didn't know what it was. There was the problem. I was absolutely stuck with this idea of, I'm sinful, I'm going to hell, I know I'm going to hell because of my sin. But I don't know how to get to hell. There's the problem that I was, I was faced with. So, to cut a very, very long story short, because I'm a man of few words, as you know. So, to cut this long story short, one day, I read in the Bible, ask, and I shall receive. So, I said to myself, if, if I ask for this born again thing, I don't even know what it is, but I know I need it. If I ask for this born again thing, and I don't get it, then the Bible's going in the bin, all my books are going in the bin, and I'm giving a whole lot of, because it's obviously all right, but the Bible's saying that God says ask, and you receive, and I don't, then there is no God, or he's death on that day, that's how I thought of it. So, I went to bed about 11 o'clock at night, and I just put it to the test, and I just knelt down, and I said, God, I believe you here, and I know I need this born again thing, but I'm not going to heaven. I want to see the kingdom of God. So please, give me this born again thing. And that's what I said, but I was also at that time, I smoked 40 cigarettes a day, I smoked weed, I was a bit of a drunk, uh, as you can imagine. Uh, and I said, and while you're there, as if I was on the phone, and like, before you hang up, there a minute, uh, while you're there, take away these 40 cigarettes a day that I smoked. Because I was trying to cough enough blood, there was a welder and everything back in the day, in lungs with cabbage. So, uh, I said, I'm too great to use body, so you can go in now and start the notes, and start the patches, and start the wallpaper, and then you're now. And I'm going to go to the table.